So what we're going to film today is a bit of uh, wanton destruction in the name of education. What I've got here is an EJ25D, um, but really this video will apply to any EJ25 or any EJ series because I think the water pump specs are about the same. What we're going to talk about is the screws that you use in installing a water pump. Um, there's a specific torque specification and pattern that you're supposed to use when you install a new water pump on a Subaru. And what we're going to do is actually test out what the limits of those torque specifications are. Um, according to the service manual, 8.9 foot-pounds is the, the torque spec on this guy, um, counterclockwise twice. But one of the things people complain about, justifiably so, is that these bolts, which are little bitty 10 millimeters, tend to either snap or shear or strip relatively easily if you exceed those torque specifications by much at all. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I've got this old EJ25D where the, crack, the crankshaft is cracked, uh, rod knock, the, the engine is very much useless except as a paperweight. So it's a good engine to be testing things out on for the sake of destruction. Um, I've got an old water pump here that's definitely way past its prime and can't be reused. I mean, all this stuff's going to be recycled anyway. But what we're going to do is I have a digital torque wrench that actually allows us to see a maximum torque rating that we've put on it. So what I'll do is set it for the 8.9, but if we squeeze it harder than that, if we turn it harder than that, it'll actually re uh, record what the maximum torque that we put on a certain bolt is. What we're going to do is on each of these bolts on this water pump, we're going to try to bolt it on, but then we're going to twist tighter and tighter uh, in terms of harder torque beyond the 8.9 spec to see how long it takes to either snap the bolt or strip out the threads in the bolt such that it just starts spinning pretty freely. So those are the, the two possibilities of what will happen here. We're going to record for each of the bolts um, what the torque ended up being where that occurred at so you know, if any, how much play you've actually got in this thing if you do try to exceed or if you do accidentally exceed the 8.9 foot-pound spec. Um, a couple of caveats, this water pump, the, the bolts that came out of this water pump from a different engine uh, where I'm actually selling the crankshaft from, it, the, the bolts are a bit rusty so they may or may not represent the, the true highest value that a normal, you know, non-rusty good condition bolt uh, will do. Some of the bolts are in better condition than the others and maybe by that we'll see a different maximum torque before snapping on them and that will tell us something. Um, either way, gonna have some fun with destruction. Here we go. I'm gonna see if I can do this with one hand. So we've got it set for the 8.9, uh, the required 8.9 foot-pound specs and we're gonna just you know, tighten it to that. I've just got them snugged on right now. We're going to tighten that, but we're going to keep going. And then our little AC Delco torque wrench is going to tell us what the maximum foot pounds that we put on to these nuts is by the time it snaps. So let's just start up here with this guy. Uh, not sure how I can hold this thing. Maybe if I hold it here. There you go. the first one we look at basically the nut did not shear but I can feel inside that the threads are now stripped so that guy went to 25.4 foot-pounds so now we're just going to reset this thing Hello. clear reset yep and move on to the next one And now we're in the same boat with that one. So this guy, is, again, it's not sheared, 
uh, the threads have been stripped on the inside. 27.9 foot-pounds. Okay, clearing it out. And next. This one seems to be just sort of seizing in place. Let's see if I can keep going with it. Oh, there we go. So I did snap it. That's what that is. So, foot pounds for snappage. 27.7 foot pounds ended up in a snap screw on that. Or snap bolt, sorry. <clears throat> Two more to go. Let's see how they do. Reset. And there we go, 29.8 for another snapped bolt. And the last one, Let's see what we got. And that one is stripped. Only 19.6 foot-pounds on that one stripping out. So basically that's the lowest one we ended up with. The highest one we ended up was about 29. I have to go review the video. But anyway, luckily most of the time these bolts, it appears, at least in poor condition, older <laughs> rusty bolts, can handle up to twice what the torque spec is. Now that doesn't mean you should do that by any means because kind of like with an oil filter, the tighter you put this thing on here, you may actually end up inducing a leak. Uh, metal gasket though so maybe not but I wouldn't push it beyond the 8.9 anyway because if you do end up snapping one off in there man not so cool to have to undo um, anyway hope you enjoyed this video now that you know what the limits are on the torque specs of these water pumps on the Subarus use that 8.9 wisely thanks